hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial video i will be showing you how you can automatically detail your pad footing using CAD RC. CAD RC is a popular software for structural detailing of reinforced concrete of course it is majorly known for manually detailing your structural member However, there are some features of CAD RC that includes automatic detailing of structural member. They might not be as perfect as you need it why you need to detail manually. However, you can still achieve something with the automatic detailing. Alright, so let's just get into it as soon as possible. When your AutoCAD is linked with CAD RC, you can just come to the CAD RC tab here. And then when you are here, you can come to the generate. Okay, you can see this generate portion. All right, and then you can click on this first one. You can see this first one. Just click on the drop down arrow, and then you can see the several structural members that you can detail using the automatic detailing. All right, so you can use the beam detailer to detail your beam. However, this can only detail a one span beam. All right, so that is the um, that is the a setback all right so whenever you have more than one span of beam this will be useless all right then you have the column detailer you have the pad footing detailer you have the pie cap detailer and you have the pad base detailer all right now you might be wondering what's the difference between the pad footing detailer and the pad base detailer now the difference is um when you use the pad footing detailer okay you only have the plan detail of your footing all right it will only give you the plan detail of your footing however when you use the part based detailer it will give you both the plan detail and also the section detail all right so um in this particular one i will just go for um let's go for part footing detailer all right okay then it brings me here so the first thing i will do is i will assign the name for the member i will give this um i'll just say footing all right footing and then i can click on okay then it will bring me here now if you need to change the configuration such as the detailing configuration all right you can just click on change cfg file all right then it will bring you here okay then you can see you have the cards you have the pdf you have every you know so you can see all the .def files that are available here, all right? However, I'm not changing anything, okay? Just um, close that. So what you should be concerned about is just the dimension and the reinforcement, okay? So I double click on the dimension and then I can start by putting in the dimension, okay? So now you have footing dimension A. Dimension A, that's basically like the length, okay? Why dimension B, that is the width. While dimension C, that is the thickness, you understand, the thickness of the footing. So, um, let me make this to be 1,250. Alright. While this is also 1,250. 1,250 by 1,250 part piece. And then, um, the footing, the height of the footing can be 200, okay. Then the cover, let the cover be 40 in all sides, okay. Cover. For the footing it's a foundation obviously so it should be 40 or more than all right so i'll just use um 40 in this case then it will ask me if you want the column dimension and the cover okay so if you want the column to be placed there so you can just click on column is required all right then it will ask you for the column dimension and all of this all right so let's just put it okay so um what's the column dimension let me say my column is 230 okay by 230 all right that's the section of the column all right and then it will want to know how high the column is don't forget that this is a foundation the height of the column that you should put here should not be the total height you know just some heights and you know, just to show in your your distance so you can make this to be um 600 that is there is fine okay then the column dimension g this is like offset let this be in zero zero okay then the cover yeah let, let this be 50 okay so um if you are done doing this you can just click on reinforcement input okay then it will bring you here now the first thing you need to decide on 
is do you is it a singly reinforced uh pad base or it is a doubly reinforced okay so if it is a doubly reinforced that means you will need the top and bottom reinforcement the top and bottom reinforcement will be required if it is a double reinforcement however if it is just a single reinforced okay so all you just need is a bottom reinforcement so you click on bottom reinforcement only then that is a single reinforced so you know it's only the bottom you want to detail i think that is clear all right then um you also need to change your bar grid i usually put that in y okay so if it is t if it is r whatever just put it okay so mine is y okay now you can see your bottom reinforcement you have the bottom in this direction bottom in the other direction now you have to pick the shape code okay you can see 20 the 20 here is actually the shape code so when you click on shape code i will use 37 okay Usually, I even want to use 38, but since 38 is not here, I'll use 37. And then here as well, I'll use 37. And then the diameter of the reinforcement, I will use Y. I'll use 12, okay? Y, 12, okay? Then you can also fix the spacing, okay? So if you want the spacing to be 200 or 150, okay? So I'll just make the spacing to be 175, okay? 175. So that's the spacing of all of the bars. And then the label, what do you want the label to be? You know, B U H L B U whatever. So I'll make this to be uh B1, alright. And then I'll make this to be B2. So it's all about how you want to um label your reinforcement, okay? Then for the column, alright, the column you have to um do the same thing for the column. So the column I'll make this to be Y, alright. And then for the dowel hook, that is the hook at the bottom of the column, all right, should it be in the bottom beam or it should just be above it, okay? So you should pick above, all right? Then if this is what you want to pick, but of course, this is what you should um go for, all right? Then the number of riba, okay? So it can be, you know, 4Y16, 6Y16, whatever, okay? So um I'll just put 4, okay? That I have 4 numbers. It's, it's a 230 by 230 column, all right? then the bend size okay um i will use 37 as well for that okay 37 uh, as i said yeah i should have used 28 but it's because 28 is not a 28 is uh 38 is the perfect shape okay but 37 is the perfect shape for this all right so now i'll pick the bar size i'll pick 16 mm all right then the label nodes i will just put um we can put nothing all right so I think nothing is better than what is there. Do well. So if that is um good enough, then you can just click on OK. Alright. And then you click on drop. Alright. So all you just need to do right now is to drop it. So I'll click on OK. Then uh it will ask you for base point. Alright. So I'll just pick anywhere like this to drop it once. Okay. Then to ask me for another point, click another point. Okay. Now it will ask you, do you require a move, copy, rotate, or anything? You say N for no, all right? Then um, you are good, okay? Then if you look at this, you see this is exactly what you have, all right? You have your reinforcement and then you have your column like this. As I've said, you can decide to pick your column if you wish, all right? And if you do not wish, you, do not, you don't need to pick it, okay? All right? This is what I'm talking about. If you come to um, part base 14 here, um, let me click on okay all right when you come to the dimension i'm talking about this portion where you have column dimension and cover all right so if you uncheck this okay let's just do it again so i will uncheck this and then i'll click on okay then i'll click on draw you know i will not change anything all things that are here will still retain okay they will still be retained so i'll just click on okay and then click on draw then right now i have to you know drop it somewhere and ask me for base point let me pick this position Ask me to pick another position, just click anywhere, okay? All right, then do I require a move? N for no. All right, then you can see the difference between this first one and the second one. This first one, there is a column plan, okay? Whereas this second one, there is nothing like a column plan. So you can go ahead and do some settings, okay? When I click on this particular one, you can see the name is bar label and then the um the color is yellow, okay? So I can just come here and change that to um something like black, okay? Bar label, let that be black, okay? So you see all the bar label will be in black color. And then this, uh, what is the name? 035, okay? Um, the 035, that can be fixed to something like um red okay so that i can show properly okay 
so i think um this is i'm um, looking more meaningful all right okay so however if i zoom um on this properly you will see my riba here you can see how it is um it is being placed it is not doing um a good job so let me double click on it to see what's happening when you double click on this okay you can see it is bar 37 as i've said this is how bar 37 will look like but i actually need bar 38 okay you can it is in 37 right let's try to change it to 38 okay and then make sure this is inside and then the spacing is still 175 this is um b2 and then come to first bar then you can change the size over here okay so um a let that be 150 let's see b 150 and then b i remember the whole dimension is 1250 okay and then we use the cover of 40 in both sides so that will be 1250 minus 80 so i should be having something like um 1170 all right then just click on okay and then you click on okay all right then you can see how your riba now looks like okay for this particular one okay so i can do the same thing for the riba in this direction okay so when i double click on this i will change this back to 38 as i've said that is the perfect and dimension for that and then um which other thing did we change here um nothing but make sure this is inside okay if it is not inside you can put it inside and then um first bar i will make this to be 150 this will still be um 1170 and this will be 150 then you click on okay and then you click on okay all right then you can have um something like this all right so um you have this like this you have um that like that and then you can see how it is ranged okay so it is good i, I believe it is um doing fine so the same thing here you just go ahead and then do um, what you have you know just as we did it okay so um i think this is all you need to know about that now you can automatically detail your path footing using the um the automatic function here all right and then if you want to do it manually you can do that in the next video i will just show you how you can use the um second command for part base all right which is um this one which is part base okay as i said this one will give you the plan detail and it will also give you the section detail of the part footing okay you can see the only thing we have here is the plan detail okay the plan detail also the plan detail here if i take a dimension now dim him right and then i dimension from um this position up to this position okay you can verify that that portion is 1250 okay because you definitely want to include the dimension in your drawing and then this is 1250 as well then what will be the thickness of the of the footing no one will know the thickness of the footing from this um drawing all right but if there is a section detail okay from there you'll be able to um signify that okay the thickness of the footing is 200 or it is 250 or it is 400 or it is wherever okay so that is the essence of this um second the second part base detailer all right so that's what i'll be showing you in the next video however if you are interested in knowing how you can manually detail your slab you know you call it out you use the proper um the proper detailing and then you can also learn some standard detailing cultivation you know for your beam for your column for your staircase for your um for your part footing like this i have a course on that of um 15 episodes so i'll be putting the link in the description it is actually for for sale okay but at an affordable price okay so i'll put the link in the description so if you want to purchase that you can actually go for that and then you can improve your detailing with card arson so till then watch out for the next video on how i will show you how you can just go ahead and use some features of the automatic detailing for your um, members that can be handled in this case okay thank you for watching if you like this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet kindly give me a subscription Thank you for watching.